Hi, I'm Jeff White and I'm the owner of Clean East Cleaning Products. Today I'm here to demonstrate how to clean a natural stone floor. This is travertine that I'm standing on. We'll get a, well, Ryan's going to go down now and show you this is travertine. Um, this travertine is absolutely beautiful stone. It's one of the softest stones out there. Not that you could scratch it with your finger or anything like that, but it's a so relatively soft stone in, in, in that world. For natural stone, you're going to want to use Stonies. Stonies is an alkaline cleaner. This is a concentrate. You can mix this anywhere from two to one if it's really filthy, all the way to eight to one with water um, if it's not real dirty. And this isn't real dirty, so we mixed it at eight to one. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do it. You can do this. You can put the use it straight out of the bottle. With, with our flip top, like I'm going to do it because we still have furniture around here and we don't want to get any product on there. Um, if you want to put it in a spray bottle with a sprayer, you can use a, a little handheld pump up sprayer. They're about 10 bucks at Home Depot. You can even, if you have a big area, you can put it in a regular airless sprayer that you would pump up on the floor. Sorry, I'm just demonstrating what an airless sprayer would be like. <laughs> Uh, but you can use that and spray the whole area down, scrub it, and then rinse it. Um, we recommend still doing small areas at a time. It's just however much you have to do is how easy you want to apply it. You know, putting it on this way or putting it on with a little handheld bottle can get a little tiresome. Uh, it's as easy as applying it, scrubbing it with uh, our grout brush. I'm going to show you how to put that on its side and do the tile as well as the grout lines, and then rinsing it. Ready, Ryan? Ready. Okay, here we go. This has been mixed eight to one. So I'm just going to apply it to the grout lines and to the stone. I'm just going to do a couple of them. I'm not going to do the whole area. If I was cleaning this uh, in my own house, I like to t I tell everybody about six square feet to ten square feet at a time. These tiles are. Uh, 16 inch tiles, so they would, uh, you know, six of them probably be where I'd start. Just take your brush, let the product sit on there about five minutes if you can. Take your brush, move it around so it gets all over the stone. Make sure you have enough product on there. Make sure you got your grout lines. Let it sit for approximately five minutes so it breaks everything down. You don't want to rush this process, so it, letting it sit is really the key. Uh, it's got to break down everything that's on there. Being an alkaline cleaner, it's not going to damage the stone. If you used Grouties, which is an acid-based cleaner for ceramic and porcelain, that would etch these tiles instantly, and then you'd have to get a professional in here to polish those out. Alkaline cleaners, you don't have to do that. It won't etch it, won't hurt it, it'll just clean it beautifully. You can also use Stonies. On ceramic and porcelain, if you have it in the shower, we're going to show you that in another uh, video, where the walls are um, ceramic, and well, I think these walls are porcelain, actually, and then the floor is natural stone. You want that, uh, you don't want to hurt that natural stone by applying grouties to the floor to the walls so you just use the whole thing of stonies and it's beautiful stonies is great for removing heavy grease and hairspray off of ceramic and porcelain as well so here we go let's scrub this up it's been a few minutes i always concentrate on the grout lines first As long as the product is wet, it's working. If you see it drying out a little bit and you need it to sit a little longer, apply a little bit more. That's not dirt, that's just a bad grout job. Go over the stone, now this isn't real dirty. So if yours is dirtier than this, it might take a little bit more, but just turn your brush on its side, clean it all up, take your mop, any type of mop, this is a spin mop, uh, you can do a sponge mop, a string mop, a microfiber mop, it doesn't matter, and then just mop the area. 
when this dries you will see it did come clean nice and clean but you will see how nice and clean it came now that it's wet it's darkened it's got to dry it could take up to 24 hours i doubt if this one would take 24 hours because i didn't have to soak it because it's not that dirty um and it's really oh, it's as easy as that just keep moving along if you have two people it makes your job that much faster if you have one you do a section go back over it keep keep moving along make sure your mop water is relatively clean uh nice hot water rinse as well easy as that anything else ryan no, seal afterwards seal afterwards we're going to show you that as well how to easily seal this stone thanks for watching